Right, que pasa? So, today I do want to talk about um, a bit of what are some of the daily priorities you should have when playing Black Clover Mobile. Since, yeah, the, the game has only been out for a couple of days now, and I know it can be overwhelming, especially at the beginning when you don't really know what guidelines to follow and what to focus on. And so today I thought I might as well talk about exactly what I do every day when I log in and what my main, let's just say, occupancy in the game is, what I mainly um, do to progress in the game even further, right? So here are some things that I do on a daily basis first. Right, the first thing what I daily do is obviously the um, the daily the daily um, mission tickets, right? So your story tickets. I try to use all of them. I got one ticket now, so I usually get these done um, as quick as possible. Since I believe one ticket takes around, what, two hours to recharge or something like that? So if one ticket takes around two hours to recharge, I usually try to finish them all as soon as possible. Um, so I can progress to the next things. Plus, obviously, you get a few a few extra things, um, a few items. You progress in the story, which, especially in the in the beginning, is actually very important since story progression is actually a must since it unlocks extra game modes. Right? For instance, you got to complete um, chapter two in order to unlock the PvP mode, which is actually what I was after. And without completing chapter two, you won't be able to unlock it. So that's basically one of the reasons you should be doing it. Um, uh, finishing uh, your, your story missions and progressing in the story helps you unlock other game modes like the limited time challenge missions. Um, it also helps you um, um, yeah, get, get generally further in the game and progressing further. Plus your rank is climbing up through the rank experience you get from daily missions. So all of these things, that's what the first thing is I do every single day. Right, next thing what I do every single day is collecting the daily idol rewards. So when you're in the Black Bull hideout, you got the idol rewards on the right here. So they basically fill up over a time of 8 hours. And then make sure you collect them every single day because you get stamina of them. You get those XP uh, uh, um, items you need to level up your character. So definitely one thing I keep doing every single day. Sometimes that's one of the most overlooked things, especially since everything is in Japanese and not everything is like on point always. But yeah, I, I try to stick to it. Then next up, obviously, the daily login bonuses. So whenever you, you, you're just starting off the game, make sure you collect your daily login bonuses. These include also things like um, the, with the daily item in the shop, which you can buy down here, I believe. So that basically, um, there is one item you can buy every single day in the shop. I believe it's up here or somewhere here. And obviously, I bought it already, but that's one of the things. It's part of collecting the daily login bonuses. Then on the top left, um, you have your event bonuses right here. So collect all of these on a daily basis. Try to finish them all. And yeah, that's that's basically another thing I usually keep doing every single day at first. Another thing I do every day is collecting my daily friend bonuses. And yeah, obviously with the time you gather friends in the game and these friend points actually give you um, the, the chance to summon four cards, which is exactly why you want to be doing this every single day. So that's also one of the first things I do every day. Just click on the left on the right button down here. Obviously, I did it now already and give every single one of your friends those friend points. Another thing I do straight after is my daily free summons. So you have one of those every single day, um, free. That's one, and yeah, that one I would yeah definitely not miss out because yeah there is a chance potentially of you getting a good character, and it's free. I mean, hey, <laughs> in a gacha game, rarely everything is free. So yeah, that's that's definitely one thing um, I do straight after giving out those friend points. Right. Straight after that, I usually head over and do my daily um, PvP battles, right? So, PvP, in case you haven't unlocked it, keep progressing in the story and you will be able to unlock it. And then keep doing those tickets every day. They keep recharging over time as well, I believe. Do I, can I see it? Um, Yeah, I think it takes two hours again or one and a half hours for one ticket to recharge. 
so yeah that's that's another thing you want to be doing every single day yes you can buy them for crystals but i mean unless you're extremely try hard i wouldn't be recommending um to to buy them actually for tickets uh, for for crystals so after i've done all of this i focus on actually completing all of the daily missions i have left so mostly with the, doing all of these i will already have been completing some of the daily missions but i still um try to get that out the way at first so i do everything i need to do in order to finish all my daily missions and collect all of them because yes you do get crystal shards from here and yeah definitely don't miss out on these daily missions right next um i usually stick to the daily limited challenges which are here and these are actually pretty crucial as well to do every day because especially this one here um, allows you is, is a quest which you can do three times a day and you have the chance of getting these large jewels here um, that's one thing i do three times a day these the uh, illusionary hall i usually um, try to um, progress each stage every single day and these special special stages um, which you can do each three times a day highly highly recommend you doing these every single day Get them out of the way as quick as possible to get, collect all of those rewards because they're going to become in handy later on when you're progressing in the game. And last but not least, it's a gacha game, right? And the game has an extreme high farming aspect. I mean, you need to farm daily dungeons right you need to do these daily dungeons to collect accessories and affinity accessories you need to do those daily uh, missions to collect exp crystals to level up your characters right that's one thing and it takes a huge amount of exp for a character from from uh, from ur to lr it's just it's just crazy right then you gotta do your daily missions to collect your crystals for your accessories um that's another thing you gotta do and uh, this one down here i haven't even unlocked it so definitely do those daily and apart from that also do this daily um uh, quest try to progress here the ranks up as well the ticket recharge here is um i believe 12 hours something like that per ticket not entirely sure so do put it down in the comments if you know what the recharge rate is here yeah? but don't miss those quests on a daily basis and that's pretty much the main focus what i do after all of the other steps once i finish everything else i've mentioned i usually just do exp farming affinity farming crystal farming whatever i have more of a need of usually it is more ex exp crystals because i want to max out the levels of each characters and obviously playing with different characters also increases their friendship bonds which in turn gives you then crystal shards which you can use to break through those characters right so that's definitely where your main focus should be lying um throughout the entire time of playing the game and then it all depends really afterwards um, what your main focus is now i want to be really focusing on pvp in this game and i'm going to be going hard and i'm going to make a video about what the current meta teams should be like and what the current meta teams are looking like so stay tuned for that and if you like the video, don't forget to smash the like button, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys next time.